you think we can make it over all four cars? To be honest, I don't know if we can. But we're gonna try. It's gonna be a great day. Okay, never mind. <laughs> back before I hurt my back, and a long time ago, about four months ago, I bought a six by six, five ton military army truck. And let me say, this truck is perfect for doing one thing, and that's failing. It never fails to fail. When I bought it, it uh, broke my trailer. After that, it broke itself uh, several times, overheated, poured oil on my boot, which by the way, is still a different color from it. Um, air compressor went bad, air leaks, brake chamber. And on top of all that, it caught fire the last time you guys seen it. So to be honest, I've never got it fixed since then. So today we're gonna get the army truck fixed and not catch fire. If all that makes sense. It probably none of it makes sense, but guys, I'll be honest, I'm winging it, so you guys are just gonna have to hold on. I don't know what's going on. This is the beauty of YouTube. Just cue the montage, it'll all make sense at the end. Probably not. Not even 5,000 horsepower, a 350 will pull that hub off. That hub is something you should be able to take off by hand. Just shoot. <sighs> Come on. You know you want to get out of there. I've just got this feeling that you want to. Guys, as you can tell, it's been a long time because it's dark outside. But also, it's been dark outside for six days! No, hold on. Six days! Don't ask me why it took me that long to put it back together. But let's just be happy that the fact is we're getting ready to put the tire back on and it's done. Yay. It's just, yeah. Hey, let's be honest. It's been so long since we cold started anything, our starting foot has rust on. Weston, we got a fire! What the hell? <laughs> uh, it's supposed to do that! Is it really? Uh, maybe. <laughs> Who said you can't drift an army truck? It's taken four months, blood, sweat, and tears. Hey, I didn't tell you you, you could move. It's taken four months, blood, sweat, and tears to finally fix this piece of junk. But I believe that it's standard operating procedure after you fix your army truck is you go test it out to make sure it's a good one. So that's what we're gonna go do. And I also got a couple things on the shopping list I need to get. So we might swing up by CarMax and- I forgot all the luxury that the army truck has. Look at that window. That window once had a tasty pizza inside of it. Hey, this is a little wild to drive. But I kind of like it. I hope nobody's coming. Ready to see some real speed! 20 miles an hour! We're getting there. I will say, CarMax's selection is getting a little um, worse as time goes on. Oh yeah, this one here will be perfect. Hardly any dead bodies. Couple gardens in the back. Let's see. What kind of engine you got? Oh, it's got one. Okay, yeah, we'll take this one. Comes with an umbrella. Does it work? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? This one here is just funny. We gotta take this one. Very, very quiet. The tombine is sleeping. <laughs> oh, look at this one. It's had a previous encounter with either Bigfoot or. Okay, I think we know what happened to this one. I don't know, a cow maybe? But you know what, it's bad, but we'll take it. And we'll take that one there for good measure. Just, just seems like an idea. Oh, 
Oh, shucks. There seems to be four cars right in the middle of the road. Too bad I don't have a six by six, five ton military truck that might just be able to run them over. <laughs> this is the reason I really bought this truck. I, I can't lie to you anymore. I just have made up all the other reasons to justify to do this. That's why. So, uh, hopefully it's good at it. It's I can run over cars. Bad news. I think I like it so much so no car is now safe. <laughs> oh my god. I actually ran over a car. Oh gosh, don't mind me. Look how well it did at the roof. You know, I wonder if anybody that was sitting in the back seat of this ever thought there would be a tire sitting right there now. <laughs> <sighs> what the hell? Be like I thought you was made of better stuff than that. I figured out why the four-wheel drive isn't working now. I busted a fitting off the uh, air tank. <laughs> Stupid Pontiac. Look at this though, like the, the bolts from the axle are just literally just shearing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wonder if anyone ever sitting in the back seat of this Pontiac like they is having sexy time and like, you know what baby? One day, there's gonna be a five-ton army truck sitting on top of this car. <laughs> Front wheel drive kicked out and I heard a big hiss of air, which was me tearing off the drain to one of the fuel uh, air tanks. Uh, oh my dear oh lord. I have got bad news. The army truck is taking battle damage and I need parts. You wanna know what happened to the army yeah, truck? Yeah. <laughs> okay. What on. didn't he do this, this time? I got in an unfortunate accident. Yep, it crawled over another vehicle. Shoot. We gotta crush the windshield, put new fittings on it, and go out there and try again. Okay. Sound good? Yeah. All right. Got it. You want to come crush cars? Sure. All right. Hefty, hefty. Let's do it. It's <laughs> <laughs> a oh, so halftime report, guys. The army truck is tough as nails. Except for that part. That part right there, that part's not tough as nails. Because when this come unhooked from this, apparently you need air there for the front wheel drive to work, and then we were stuck on top of two cars. But look, shiny new parts. It's fixed. So we can go run over more cars. That's the biggest transfer case I've ever seen in my life. I bet that thing weighs two and a half million tons. You hear that? That is car crushing potential. Loud car crushing potential. Hopefully we make it all the way over. Don't fail me now. How <laughs> they look from the outside? I hit my head. Oh my god, it hurts so much. Oh, I didn't tear to, intend to tear anything up. I thought the army designed it for this. Dude, I'm kind of wondering what the GoPro looks like over here. <laughs> it's just like all of a sudden a freaking five-ton army track lands on the track. Dude, I think you hit it way too hard this time. I think I did. The first time I was like, I didn't get enough speed. I wanted to make sure I got over. It's good. You weren't kidding. My step busted that damn thing right off, didn't I? Fuel tank's okay, though. I didn't intend for that to happen. Hey, I can change the oil a lot easier now. Hey, I told you yesterday I was going to get on top of all four cars. <laughs> Dude, it looks like it's breeding that Buick. <laughs> That's how baby army trucks are made. Are as soon as I hit it, it was like a moment because the cab just filled with smoke. I'm like, oh no. I'm like, holy shit, I hit a smoke bomb. <laughs> hey, we're staying to tradition. Tradition is a video cannot end without this army truck being broken. And right now, it is very broken. How the hell are we going to get it off? No, I'm serious. How the hell are we going to get it off these cars? I think we'll call it an episode for today. Uh, see you guys next time and...
Follow me on Instagram. Figure out how to get this thing off these cars. Bye.